You are welcome once again, my lovely people. Thanks for being part of this channel always. Thanks for following us endlessly. We really appreciate your time. And those who are new to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel uh, so that you can become a member of this community. We thank you so much. We hope that you enjoy the information that we give here. Now, today we come with rather a very, very amazing topic to discuss today, and that is to do with nuclear. Uganda is ready to go nuclear. Uganda is going nuclear. Boom! Years ago, when, you, when President Yoweri Museveni had attended an assembly in the U.S., I think it was a security assembly, he gave a speech that left everybody in attendance nodding their head in appreciation, especially presidents from Africa, when he said that it was high time for Africa to think nuclear. Every other developed country, every other European country, most of them, be it Russia, China, India, US, UK, all have nuclear. So it was time for Africa to think along the same direction. I want to inform the Eastern Security Council that Africa is interested not in nuclear weapons, but in nuclear energy. The reason we're interested in nuclear energy is that if you take all the rivers in Africa, the total capacity of the hydropower there is about 300,000 megawatts. We are going to be 1.3 billion Africans by 2020. Now, if you take the United States, who are only 300 million people, they are now using 1 million megawatts. But all the rivers in Africa have got a potential of only 300,000 megawatts. Even if all the sites on the African rivers were developed, we would not have enough electricity to support the Africans. Unless, of course, you say that it has been scientifically proved that Africans don't need electricity. But if you, don't, if, you don't, if you do not take that absurd co conclusion, then it is clear that Africa need, will have to use all sources of energy, including nuclear energy. Most people could have thought it was a joke, not until when he started, you know, on the journey towards this. And this week, at the beginning of this week, Museveni declared that Uganda, come 2031, will go nuclear. Boom, as it sounds. Now, I understand that when anybody hears nuclear, the first thing in mind, uh, the first thing in mind is fighting wars. The first thing in mind is destroying countries, bombing countries to zero bombing countries to nucleus. My dear, <laughs> it is different. Uganda come, come 2031, we shall be ready to go nuclear power, nuclear energy. While addressing a gathering this week, President Museveni said that Uganda is at that stage where it is going to start on the nuclear plant. This nuclear plant will be housed in eastern Uganda, about 150 kilometers north of Kampala, and will be able to produce approximately 2,000 megawatts of energy, of power. One point to note, for Uganda to serve its population to capacity with electricity, Uganda needs to produce approximately 10,000 10, megawatts. Now, 
the plants, the hydro dams that we have in our country, that we have in Uganda, cannot generate such capacity to that capacity. So when Uganda adds the 2,000 megawatts from the nuclear plant, oh, what a dream. What a dream. It will be massive for this country, it will be massive for East Africa, and it would be massive for Africa at large when Uganda constructs the first East African, uh, the first East African nuclear power plant, the third African nuclear power plant. It will be an eye-opener to the rest of Africa. So we understand that at present, Uganda is only able to produce between 1,000 megawatts to 2,000 megawatts, okay? Now, that is from different sources, by the way. We have uh, different dams in the country that are producing different levels of megawatts onto one grid. And when you sum them together in a few uh, months or one or two years, we shall be producing approximately 2,100 megawatts. But that one plant only that is going to be constructed in Buyende at approximately 9 billion US dollars is going to produce 2,000 megawatts. But by, 30, 30, by 2031, at least 1,000 megawatts will be added onto the grid and then the following years, one or two, another 1,000 will be added onto the grid. There are so many people that have issues with President Yoweri Museveni on how he does his things and probably how he governs his country in Uganda. But what you can understand, what you should not forget is his patriotism. This man loves Africa. This man loves East Africa. This man loves his country. And whatever he does, putting other factors constant is always to ensure that his country develops from one level to another. He has been pivotal in fighting corruption. He is still going ahead to advocate for the unity of Africa, one currency, one trade, uh, inter-trade, like someone being able to trade freely from Uganda to Kenya, to Tanzania, to Egypt, to South Africa without any hindrances. Now, Uganda, if all goes well, by, 30, by 2031 is going to be the first East African country to go nuclear. And it is going to be the third country in Africa in the same. Presently, it is South Africa that has an active plant and then Egypt, uh, Russia apparently is building one um, nuclear plant in Egypt. So basically, South Africa is going to be first, then Egypt, and then Uganda. It will be such a milestone. And this is at a time when Uganda is exploring and starting to drill its oil, which is expected to be on market come 2025. So when Uganda comes out with a nuclear plant come 2030, then it is going to be a milestone. It is going to be a step ahead of any other East and Central African country. So we all know that Uganda is, is, is full of minerals. And some of these minerals are very essential in the creation of a nuclear plant, and one of them basically is uranium. Uganda has so many deposits of uranium, and therefore it is going to be very vital, it is going to be helpful, it is going to be helpful in the construction and the building of this nuclear plant in Buyende that is going to be masterminded by Koreans. It is a Korean firm that is uh, estimate that is expected to carry out the construction of this nuclear plant in eastern Uganda and 
you know, processes are going on. They are looking at the feasibility study and the laws that govern the construction of such a plant in the country and the steps are on for the construction of this plant. You know, about 20 or so students in Uganda have been sent abroad to study, others, you know, by themselves, others by government, to study nuclear. And most of these are in UK, China, uh, others are in Russia, others are in South Korea. So, very soon Uganda is going to have students that have graduated, that have mastered, that have PhDs and masters in the study of nuclear, and therefore we won't be short of manpower besides the expatriates that will be coming from Korea and maybe China and other countries as well. And also, Uganda is preparing to energize Soroti University, a university in eastern Uganda, to also start, you know, teaching, uh, teaching issues to do with nuclear. So Uganda is basically on the right trajectory of preparing itself for this plant that is going to be a game changer in Africa, that is going to be a game changer in East Africa, that is going to be a game changer for Africa at large before the Europeans. Remember, all these big projects are thought to be masterminded by Europeans. Indeed, sometimes they are. But when an African country like Uganda, that is thought to be a third world country, that has been fighting to actually become a middle income, to attain a middle income status. When it comes out with such a plant, then it is a message that Africa is waking up to the task. It is going to come time when Africa is not going to be importing, but rather exporting nuclear energy to other countries. And that is the direction that President Museveni is leading Uganda towards. So when news awash media that Uganda is readying itself for a nuclear plant, we thought it is important to share it with our team, with our members, with our community on as a matter of fact, to understand that the trajectory that Uganda is taking under the leadership of His Excellency YKM7 is tremendous. And soon or later, other East African countries will be coughing. It is not per se competition, but it is going to set a direction. And before you know it, other countries will jump on board, and that is what we want, unity and prosperity for Africa. That is what we dream of as Africans. So, Uganda, thank you so much. Your Every Seven is thank you so much. We really wish you the best. We hope that all things come together for this mega project that is going to help not only Uganda, but also the neighboring countries and then spread wings to the rest of the world. So that's what we thought we would share with you today on as a matter of fact, the fact that, boom, Uganda is going nuclear. I know when you read that, when you hear that, you say, okay, so now Uganda is ready to fight its neighbors. So do we want, or does the country want to fight Congo, or fight Tanzania, or fight Rwanda? No. We are adding on our, gen we are, the country is adding on its greed of electricity with nuclear energy. Exactly as he said during a UN Council years ago, years ago, when he said before Obama that Africa wanted, Africa badly needed to go nuclear, and everyone gave him ears as we gave him today. That's what we had on as a matter of fact today that we thought you would really love to hear. And from me to you, adios. TJ here.